What do the red flashing lights on an 8 light system bus signify to other drivers? The school bus is stopped to pick up or discharge pupils. While looking through the interior flat mirror, the driver should have a clear view of All the students on board. How far prior to a bus pickup location must the amber warning lights be turned on? Two hundred feet. If an unruly student is threatening the safety of others, how should you handle the situation? Pull bus to the side of the road and firmly explain the rules and regulations to the unruly student. The school bus's stop arm is to only be operated with the red warning lights. If a bus is being operated on a divided highway or a highway with four lanes or more, which of the following describes the procedures for pickup and discharge of students? The students must be picked up and dropped off in the center of the road. When leaving a freeway, you should begin to slow down. A hundred feet in advance. When is it required to stop a bus? Look, listen, open the driver's side window and service door. Whenever the bus is stopped at a railroad crossing. In flat mirrors, you should see 200 feet behind. During your pre-trip vehicle inspection test, make sure that both of the above are true. The emergency exits are undamaged, operate smoothly, and close securely from the inside. And the emergency exit warning devices if so equipped, are working. Which of the following statements? It's true about students who must cross in front of a bus after exiting it. When the driver signals that it is safe to proceed, the students should cross the street while remaining in the driver's view. A passive railroad crossing. Doesn't have any type of traffic control device. 
As part of your vehicle inspection test, you will have to check to be sure that it is undamaged, operating smoothly, and able to be closed securely from the inside. An emergency exit. Properly adjusted, the outside left and right side convex mirrors will let you see both of the above, at least one traffic lane on either side of the bus and the front of the rear tires touching the ground. You can change the location of a school bus stop only with the written approval of the school district. When you inspect the battery and battery box during your pre-trip vehicle inspection test, make sure that Both of the above are true. The battery is secure, connections are tight with the minimal corrosion, and the cell capes are present. Also, the battery box and cover or door are secure. The left and right danger zones extend up to from the left and right side of the school bus. Ten feet. When driving a school bus in high winds, you should keep a strong grip on the steering wheel and try to anticipate gusts. The convex crossover and flat mirrors should be viewed. in a logical sequence to ensure that a child or object is not in any of the danger zones. What is the golden rule for school buses when approaching and crossing railroad tracks? Stop, look, and listen. Which of the following people can remove or suspend a student from riding the bus? The school principal, superintendent, or the superintendent's designee? What would be considered proper procedure at a highway railroad crossing? Both of the above. Turn warning lights on. Do not shift gears while crossing railroad. When getting onto a highway, you should Keep your eyes on the car in front of you and watch mirrors for gaps. When is the use of alcohol, tobacco, and non-prescription drugs allowed on the school bus? Never. What do anti-lock brakes do? Prevent brakes from locking up when hard pressure is applied. While the bus is running, when is the driver allowed to exit the bus? Never. Which of the following statements about evacuation procedures is true?
If time allows, notify the dispatch office about your situation, your location, and the type of assistance you need. When unloading students at a school, you should Tell the students to remain seated until they are told to exit. The blind spot behind the bus may extend up to, depending on the length and width of the bus. Four hundred feet. When can you put a misbehaving student off the bus? Only at school or the student's designated bus stop. Before leaving, make sure the students are in plain view. At least 10 to 15 feet away from the side of the bus. You have stopped your bus to load students. Before you signal them to approach the bus, you should Check for traffic once more. Why is it so critical for you to understand the loading and unloading procedures? Because so many students are killed each year while getting on or off school buses. In an emergency, you should consider not evacuating students from your school bus. In neither of the above situations. To load students after you have stopped the school bus, count the number of students at the bus stop and make sure that all of them aboard the bus. Which school bus accidents should be reported? All of them. Who is responsible for handling discipline problems on your school bus? You. An active railroad crossing is? A railroad crossing that has a traffic control device. The tail swing of a school bus can be as much as three feet. In addition to spare electrical fuses, if equipped, three red reflective triangles and a working fire extinguisher Emergency equipment for a school bus includes a first aid kit and a body fluid cleanup kit. How could one distinguish a blind person among other pedestrians? will be carrying a white cane. When according to the pupil transportation, operation, and safety rules, are the four-way hazard 
light supposed to be used? All of the answers are correct. When approaching a railroad crossing, when stopped or parked along a road due to a breakdown, and when backing up or turning around. When is the only time the red warning lights can be used? Whenever the bus is picking up or discharging students. Front tire thread depth should be at least Four by thirty two inches. What color are our school buses painted? National School Bus Glossy Yellow. When several students are exiting the bus, the driver should count the students if one is missing. Get off the bus and locate the student. Before you proceed through a railroad crossing, make sure that your bus will have enough containment to completely clear the railroad tracks. As general rule, adequate containment is The length of the bus plus 15 feet. What is the most important reason for performing a school bus inspection? For safety, as required by federal, state, and local laws. During your post trip inspection of your school bus, you should check. For mechanical or operational problems. In most states, school buses are equipped with warning light system to control traffic at school bus stops. With an eight light warning light system. The front danger zone extends up to from the front bumper of the school bus extends up to 50 feet when approaching a school bus stop you should do both of the above Activate your alternating flashing amber lights and check all mirrors constantly. Is the bus driver allowed to pick up or discharge students at other than their assigned locations? Only if the school district allows and a written note from a parent has been received. Who is the person responsible for the daily pre-trip bus inspections? The school bus driver. Students may never walk within how many feet of the bus at any time? Ten. After you decide on the best type of evacuation, what must you do next?
Secure the bus. Most states require school bus drivers to take a physical examination. Annually. Which mirrors let you view the front danger zone? The convex mirrors. During your vehicle inspection test, you must check that the entry door is undamaged. Also check that operates smoothly and closes securely from the inside. During your vehicle inspection test, if your school bus is equipped with a handicap lift, you should check that no parts are missing, leaking or damaged and that the lift is fully retracted and latched. When under the age of 21 years old, a driver will be considered intoxicated at zero tolerance. The right front mirror should be adjusted to see The right front tire meeting the ground. You must evacuate everyone from your school bus if the bus is stalled on a railroad track but there is no train in sight. Immediately after stopping, you should first activate the alternating flashing red lights and ensure that the stop arm is extended. If a railroad crossing signal is malfunctioning, you should Call your dispatcher and ask for instructions. At a railroad crossing, you must stop at the stop line. If there is no stop line, you must stop. Between 15 and 50 feet from the nearest rail. You're about to unload students at a bus stop. Tell them that once they have exited the bus, they should stay away 15 feet from the side of the school bus. When loading or unloading students, you should check your mirrors. Constantly. When approaching a railroad crossing, you should turn on the hazards. at least 200 feet from the railroad crossing. When is the most dangerous time during a bus ride?
loading and unloading students. Which of the following statements about the special dangers of loading and unloading is true? Tell students to leave any dropped objects, move out of danger zones, and get your attention to retrieve the objects. When approaching a bus stop on a multi-lane roadway, you should maintain your position of the rightmost lane. Towards the right edge of the rightmost lane. While you're loading students, if you cannot account for a student, what should you do? Secure the bus, take the key, and check around and underneath the bus for the student. How can a driver determine if a bus is equipped with anti-lock brakes? When the key is turned on an ABS, light will come on and off. If the bus is on fire, you must Evacuate the students upwind of the bus Is the bus driver allowed to crack or open the service door prior to stopping to pick up a pupil? No. You should activate your alternating flashing amber warning lights, depending on the laws and regulations of your state. A hundred to three hundred feet before the school bus stop. As part of your post trip inspection of your bus, Check for each of the following except Dirt or shoe prints on the floor In an emergency, you must evacuate everyone from your school bus In either of the above situations, if the position of the bus may change and further increase the danger, or if the bus is on fire. When turning around at a railroad crossing, a driver should Turn on hazards